Hello everybody! Today we are going to make an acrylic painting color wheel. So prior to getting our paint on, all of you should have received this sheet and you're going to use this to trace. How fun is that? And this is where all the colors are going to go. So as you can see, I have all of my color wheel traced. I labeled everything in pencil because I'm going to relabel them in Sharpie when I am completely done. But right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do your color wheel. We're going to mix paints and we're going to have a lot of fun. And the reason why we're doing this is because you need to understand how the different colors work together. There's also going to be a tint in the middle. There's also going to be a shade here. So this inner circle is the shade. And then this outer circle is the tint. And then these are the actual colors. So we are going to start out with this section. I'm going to do my red. I'm going to do my orange. And then I'm going to do my yellow. Then we're going to do tints. And then we're going to do shades. So the brush I'm going to use is a round brush. And the reason why I like a round brush is because it just covers better. For me, it just covers better. So I'm going to do this whole section today or the, for the first part. And then we're going to just continue to move on. Okay, so let's do my red. Since red is a primary color, it's already mixed and it comes ready to rock and roll now you could use a smaller brush if you would like which i probably should have done but i have a pretty steady hand and i have been not painting painting but you guys know mrs g loves to paint houses and i don't use any of the painters tape i am a giant fan of using a very good brush and just painting 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 so you need to make sure that you fill in the entire little not it's not a triangle it's just this this little section right here and make sure that it is nice and even. Okay, so that is, that's my red. And it's okay if you go out of the lines a little bit, but we don't wanna go out of the lines too much because um, that's just gonna make our color wheel a giant disaster. So here's my red. And that's it. Okay, let me move this down a little bit so you can see. All right, so that's red. Now, according to my paper, the next thing I need to do is make a tint. And the way that we make a tint is that we add white. So I'm gonna take a little bit of red and then I'm gonna take a little bit of white and I should, in essence, get some pink. And you don't need a lot really really don't need a lot oh i'm gonna get some more white i like pink pink is a, one of my power colors especially this bubblegum pink so i am gonna come in here and again we don't need a whole lot of paint so get a little bit more I did not mix a whole lot. I only made enough to fill this little tiny section because that's all that I need. I have a lot of paint on my brush, so I'm gonna get that off. A little bit more white. I just need a little bit more paint. You just need to mix enough 
so that you um, have enough to fill your little section here. It's a little bit darker than I would like. That is why we are mixing on our paper plate here. Actually, you should see me mixing, so this is my pink. And again, I don't have a lot. I'm just filling it in. And I think what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of water to smooth it out. Because it's a little, it's not smooth. And remember, we can always use water as a, as a little bit of a wash. And I'm just going to do that to fill in all these extra little gaps and to make it smooth. You can do that if you would like. You don't have to. But I just kind of want to make it nice and even. Okay? So that's my red tint. Moving on, the next thing I need to do is a shade. So that means I have to add black, black, black to my red. Hmm, we'll do it over here. And I don't need a whole lot because the section is smaller. And it should be dark. Like, it should be really, really dark. Oh, I need a little bit more black. A little bit more red. Excuse me. Okay. I'm happy with that. So this is my red shade. And again, I just have this tiny section. And you're going to need to use a smaller brush, way smaller than what I used. But I have a pretty steady hand, so I can handle that. There you go. Nice and neat. And this is my red. So red is done and done okay so let's move on to red orange now I'm gonna need a making orange <laughs> um, so that I can I have enough for here and for here and then for all of this so let's make some orange um, I used this blue and I'm just gonna use it up because I need a lot of it no, nope, I don't need blue. What am I doing? Orange is red and yellow. Well, mistakes were made. You saw it here. Things happen. That is what not to do. All right, I'm taking some yellow. And I'm not gonna use that red because I already contaminated it, but I'm gonna take this red. And I need more yellow. Okay, so this is this is actually more of a red orange. This one. Get a little bit more yellow here. So, to me, I put a little bit more yellow. This is a good red orange, I think, because it's a lot darker than. Um, a regular orange so let's go with this and I have a lot of paint on my brush so I'm gonna tackle that let me see here this is my red orange get some of this paint off and 
it's a little tougher shape to get to. There we go. Okay. So that's my red orange. I probably could have added a little bit more yellow to it, but I think it's pretty good. And again, if I wanted some water to smooth it out, I totally could. Now, I have a lot of paint on my brush. So I'm just going to take a little bit. And I'm running out of space. Um, let me try and mix it over here. There we go. So this will be my tint. Of red orange that is more of like a peach well I guess it all depends on the colors that you mix Taking my time. Obviously, you guys are going to use a lot smaller brush. Okay. And then the next one is to do a shade. So... Let's take a little bit of black and mix it right here with this orange, this part of the red orange. There we go. Because it should be kind of like, it should be muddy. Let's rinse this all out. Okay, I'm going to do a better job of that. Mix it right here. Okay. These are really hard to see. Hang on. Probably going to need to go over my red again. Make sure that we get a true, a true, that's better, a true shade. This is almost like brown. Yeah, this one kind of looks like a very deep, deep chocolate brown. But again, I'm going off of that color, so that's my base, and that's the color that I need to go off of. I'm probably going to need to redo this guy, because this one looks way too black for me. Okay, so that's red-orange. Now I'm going to go to my orange, and I'm just going to add some more yellow to this one, and make it a little brighter because I need to have a bright orange I need a good orange I'm doing my best to get all my yellow but this is the orange that I'm gonna go with okay so this is an orange, this is also orange, but this is still kind of red-ish. All right, hang tight. I'm gonna get a little bit more yellow and I'll be back because I kind of want to make it a, a brighter orange. Okay, I am back now to do orange. I made a better orange and again, <laughs> I have a lot of paint on my brush once again. So I think um, when we mix in class, we will be mixing with some sticks. 
but for right now, since I have this really cool orange, I am going to keep going. Carefully hit my corner. And make sure that this is nice and even. Great. All right. So that's my orange. The next thing I need to do is add a little bit of a tint. And since my orange is pretty amazing, I am going to wipe some of the paint off and grab a little bit of white and mix it on the side of my plate. So we're going to come in here and do a little peach, little peach. So there's my tint, and I need to rinse out my brush. And I'm gonna add a little tiny bit as I drop my paintbrush. Oh Lord, have mercy. All right, as we need to come back in here and do our shade. So I'm going to take a tiny bit of black over here and grab my orange and just mix it over here and do it in the orange. Uh, painting is messy, but it is necessary to learn how to mix all of these colors because you may want to use different colors in your final painting. Okay, so that's our orange, and now that section is done. All right, we're going to do one more section for right now, which is yellow orange. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because I already have this great orange made, and I am going to just add some more of this yellow to this orange so that I have a great yellow orange. Okay, I'm gonna get this really nice yellow orange. And you want it, the yellow orange to be brighter than the orange that you already made. So I'm just going to keep adding some, some yellow to it. I feel like I need just a tiny bit more yellow. Okay. Okay. Let me see if I can bring up this a little bit of yellow. Okay, so that's a lot lighter. And I'm just going to add going to add this right here and I don't need a lot because this section is kind of tiny. So here's my yellow orange. I'm 
again, small brush. Don't make the mistake that Mrs. G made. Small brush. Small brush. Okay, so after we make our yellow-orange in this really hard area to paint, we need to add white. And I already have a lot of paint on my brush, so I'm going to scoop it off and just add white to it. color actually this is for all my ladies that wear foundation this is a great foundation color I think it looks very similar to my medium foundation that I wear okay so that is my yellow orange tint I'm going to rinse my brush, and now I'm going to do my shade. So I am going to take a little bit of black, not much, and then grab my yellow orange. Black is making it gross. Whoa. Let me take a little bit more. Oh, it looks really muddy. Hang on. Well, maybe that's what it's supposed to look like. So, this is the mud with the black on my yellow orange and you know everybody's shades are going to look totally different because you're adding black to the color that you mixed and there isn't going to be one two colors that are alike yes we're all using the same colors to mix but the way that you mix them and the ratio of your colors is going to be different for everybody Okay, so there's my yellow-orange. 